Right, Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweshai, Waharaka Kadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors, honors to you brothers out there teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And, um, <laughs> I've been listening to a few of these testimonials regarding um, this ex camp head. Um, your call from the Bay Area and um, he is an example of you know something which has been before you know we've had few quite a few camp leaders that have been cast out and it's come out you know they were doing madness and basically abusing abusing the brotherhood abusing brothers um, which is completely unacceptable and it, it's always guys that you know they can re recite all these scriptures man they know all these breakdowns they go all the breakdowns recite all these scriptures but at the core of it they had hate in their heart man their heart was black darkness darkened and it's why they abuse their brothers, man. It's fundamental to love thy neighbor. To treat your brother, you know, with love. It's fundamental to this gospel and to this truth. Don't matter how, how many breakdowns you know, if you're abusing the brethren, that's a serious problem. This is the book of Matthew 22, verse 36. It says, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. All right. Now, the reason why that is the greatest of all the commandments is because if you love Yahweh Shai, you will keep his commandments. So that's it's foundational, it's fundamental. If you love Yahweh Shai, you will keep his commandments. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God for thy heart, and for thy soul, and for thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love the neighbor, thy neighbor as thyself. Alright? And again, love worketh no ill to his neighbor, for love is the keeping of the commandments. These two things are fundamental. Alright? When you're abusing your brother, you know, that means you don't love that you don't love them. Because you're working ill unto them. Alright? Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. And these, this guy just violated so many brothers, man. It's, it's unreal. It's, it's, it's so demonic. You know, to cause so much distress and anguish and hurt to so many brothers, man. For what reason? You know? It ain't right. And that's why he's going to be destroyed. But it's for us to examine ourselves and remember that it ain't not just about turning up to camp. It ain't just about doing your video every day and all these things. Power, you know, fundamentally, it's about loving your Habashim, your Shai, and loving your, your brother, your neighbor as yourself, man. Treating your brother correct treating your brother right man because if you're abusing the brotherhood the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna deal with you man the Lord is gonna deal with you 100% it's gonna it's gonna come out you're gonna be exposed and you're gonna be judged by Yahweh Shem Yahashai because the Lord don't like that man when you're abusing brethren so treat the brothers right man Cause that guy, that, that guy was doing way too much. It's not what we're here for. Okay.
that this is a good Galatians 5 and 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these uh, f uh, adultery you know which you've had to kick guys out for that adultery fornication uncleanliness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred right you know just just trying to set brothers up trying to trying to make brothers fall lay stumbling blocks before brothers I mean that's hatred man Variance, emulations, wrath. Right? You had an, had another cat here in London who thought he was experienced to punch her brother up. And to this day hasn't seen the error of that way. You know? That's that's not on man. We don't tolerate that. That's an instant dismissal. You you lay your hands on another brother. Instant dismissal. Alright. Control yourself, man. These certain brothers feel the wrath, man. And it ain't even that deep. Strife, seditions, heresies. And these type of cats always end up becoming the biggest heretics. Right? Bugging out and coming up with all kind of madness, man. Beasts. Envyings. Right? Envying other men's gifts. Envying other men's lots, other men's blessings. Instead of being happy for a brother, you envy. It's not the right spirit, man. Because we're one body. The blessings of another brother is a blessing on you. All right. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do that such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So these things here, you got to stay away from, from, from this behavior, man. On your walk, you know, you got you got to reject these things, and have these things. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, right, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. A lot of times, like I said, that's where it comes from. And and um, you know, like I said, it just ain't it ain't right to abuse brethren, man. Don't, ab don't abuse brothers, man. Don't abuse the brotherhood. All right. That's not the way to go. That's not the principles which are in Yahweh Shai. All right. Shalom.